We use so many educational YouTube channels in our homeschool that it's actually really difficult for me to pick just 10. But the first one I want to share with you is Art for Kids Hub. This channel is a father who is an artist along with his children. And what they do is they have a bunch of how-to videos on how to draw different characters and items and anything that your kids might want to draw. And so the dad and his kids will sit down together and do step-by-step -step drawings so your kid can follow along. My boys absolutely love this channel. My oldest has learned so many artistic tips, um, just how to make things look more realistic rather than just stick figures and it's all thanks to Art for Kids Hub. Now, all of the art concepts are sprinkled in over the course of all of their how-to videos, so it can be a little bit difficult if you wanted your kid to learn a specific artistic skill, but if they are just doing them for fun over all the different videos, they will actually have a really good understanding of some basic art concepts. For life and I'd love to incorporate YouTube videos into my homeschool. If you would like a full list of all of the channels that I'm going to recommend as well as a few others, you can check out our homeschool resource document that I'll link in the description and that's going to help give you um, all of these videos plus a bunch more resources that Jenny and I just totally love and use in our homeschools. If you're looking for an educational YouTube channel that covers multiple different subjects and has a more lesson type approach, you're gonna wanna check out Homeschool Pop. Homeschool Pop is full of animated videos that have more of a teacher quality style to them because it's gonna be a character that is telling you all about different things in multiple subject areas. They've got English, they've got math and Spanish and history and science. All of the videos are super quick and simple and they have a wide variety of topics that they cover. So you'll definitely wanna check that out next time your kids ask you a question and you're not quite sure the, you know the answer, Homeschool Pop will probably have a video on it. If you have preschoolers and early elementary students, then you'll definitely wanna check out the ABC Mouse YouTube channel. Yes, this is the same popular website but they have some of the videos that are incorporated into their program, they have put onto YouTube for children to view all over the place. They have classic nursery rhymes that are great for preschoolers to listen to, to get that repetition and rhyming in. And then they also have some other learning songs, like my boys, we love the coin song that teaches about the, the different names of the coins. They have days of the week, they have colors. So all of these different videos are gonna help your kids learn about something. All of the videos are animated and a really good quality. And my some of my favorites are the alphabet series. They have one video for every letter and the songs are really catchy and just kind of gets a student used to the letter and all the different words that that letter starts with. I use this alphabet series a lot when I ran my in-home daycare, so I would find myself constantly, you know, at nap time, like singing along to the songs and there's no kids awake. It was, it was a little embarrassing, but the songs are that catchy. I also use several of the other ABC Mouse videos in my free preschool and toddler curriculum. If you're interested, you can check it out right up here to learn more. Kids love songs, and if you're looking for another song-based YouTube channel, check out Have Fun Teaching. This channel has very upbeat and catchy songs that are great for not only younger kids, but also up into your late elementary. They have songs on all sorts of topics, starting with alphabet, sight words, science, history, and even some math songs. Some of my favorites are the season song, the water cycle, and the planet song, because they're just super catchy. My kids love listening to them, and listening to them on repeat helps them remember some of the facts that they learn in the video. Now, my last few suggestions were channels that are incorporating lots of different topics and subjects within their channel, but this next one is a math-only song channel. Number Rock has all sorts of math-based number songs that are really, really catchy and are more cool if you have older students as well. There's a lot of almost music video style vi uh, YouTube videos that they have and my kids just love it. Our favorites are the multiples songs. So they have multiples of two, three, five, um, I think even six and seven, they, they, they go up through a bunch of numbers. But my kids love them. They're, you know, people are break dancing and they've got people doing BMX stuff. So it's really cool. And then they're also hearing that song that I can then say, oh, sing that song back. And then they can kind of start to 
helps them learn their multiplication tables and things like that. Along with multiplication, I've seen videos that they do about time and fractions and really understanding some of those more obscure math concepts, but adding those fun video song-like qualities to them. The next channel I wanna recommend isn't actually geared towards kids, but oh my goodness, this channel is so cool. It's called Jared Owen, and he creates these animated slash CAD looking videos that describe how something works. So what he does is he takes a deep dive into something as simple as a combination lock or an oscillating fan and kind of shows you all the different parts and then goes inside to show you all the different pieces and how they work. So, you know, an oscillating fan has that little button. Why does that button make it rotate? Like, I had no idea. I do now, thanks to Jared Owen's videos. But it's just really cool that he shows you the mechanics behind how these simple things work. So it, during the homeschool day, I'm not going to sit here and take apart an oscillating fan because it would then be a broken oscillating fan. Um, so this is really fun to be able to show them how certain things work. Um, he's got things that even to like escalators and all sorts of fun videos. So if your kids want to know um, not how it's made, which is another channel, but that's a bonus channel for you guys, um, but how something works and the the deep dive inside of it, Jared Owen's channel is going to be really fun for them to check out. The next channel I want to recommend is a science channel and it's great for short little videos that are going to get your kids thinking critically and trying to answer some of these questions on their own, but then also being given the answers um, through these videos. Mystery Doug is the same guy from Mystery Science Curriculum, which I have a review of up here if you want to check it out. But Mystery Doug will come on and typically it's a student that's asking a question and he'll go ahead and answer it. But he has times where he says, oh, go ahead and pause the video if you want to answer this for yourself or give some ideas. So it's a great time for you as a teacher to just pause the video, let your kids say what they think, and then push play. Another great thing that I love is he will go through some of the most common, ans common answers that a kid might think of why the question is and then kind of show why that ends up not working out if that's the case. So taking those common misconceptions and being able to show you why it doesn't work and then giving them um, some of the answers. And not everything is 100% known or can be answered right now with science, but getting those kids to start thinking about different things is something I really want to instill in my children. The next channel I want to recommend is a newer science channel called the Homeschool Science Lab. This channel has a whole bunch of different fun science experiments and topics that you can cover with your kids. And this is not just one of those quick, oh, look at this cool ex science experiment you can do and do it, but they also explain all of the science concepts behind it. Even if the concept is a little more advanced at the high school level, they're doing this for the, the elementary uh, age. And I'm sure into middle and high school, you could do some of these activities as well, because the concepts are um, science concepts that he explains in a kid friendly way. We did the Easter egg color changing something or other. Um, I'll put, put the video over here so you can see it. But this was such a fun activity for us to do where you take an egg and you totally dissolve the shell. And then you take that egg and you put it in corn syrup and all the water gets pulled out of the egg. So now you have this squishy egg and then you put it back into water with some colored food coloring in it. And the water is going to go back into the egg because all you have is that membrane now since you took the shell out and the water is going to go back into the egg. And then you have this beautiful colored egg shellless egg, which is really fun. And my kids thought it was super fun. But again, he shows with really fun little animations using construction paper and shows kind of how it works. So I'm able to show my kids, oh, this is the science that's going on behind it. Not just, ooh, look, we're shrinking and making eggs bigger, but why it happens. So I absolutely love this channel, highly recommend. Go over, subscribe to their channel. You're not gonna wanna miss out. Along with his activities, he also has a website where he has worksheets that you can print off for free. So I love that aspect. And he also even has a segment where he'll do product reviews of those common science 
products that, you know, you're like, oh, if I get this, my kid will totally learn science. Well, he's gonna say which ones are, are really good and will actually last, and which ones just don't really work as well as they say they're going to. All right, if you really want your kids to be interested in engineering, then definitely check out Mark Rober's channel. Mark Rober is a YouTuber that puts out videos once a month, but his videos are like over the top engineering, super fun and exciting for kids to watch. Mark Rober has these extreme engineering science videos. He's got a 15 ton jello pool, a liquid sand hot tub, and even like a giant air horn that he has go off. So along with creating these things, he has to kind of show, especially with the 15 ton jello pool, you'd think, oh, fill a pool with like jello and it'll work. But he showed all of the testing and everything that went into figuring out how to really make the best pool and be able to scale it up. Not everything is so simple that you can just scale it up and have it work. But so he really shows that engineering design process in his videos. And I love that. Along with showing that design process, he'll also show that the science behind it. So if something is more complicated, he'll kind of try to stop and explain why it's that way. And uh, that way your kids are not just seeing this really grand thing that he creates, but also kind of understanding how it was possible. One minor note I wanted to say is make sure you kind of preview the channel a little bit before, make sure it's right for your kiddos. Um, I have been watching this channel for years. So even I think when my youngest was probably three, we were watching these videos. I skip a few of them just because they're, they cover some topics that um, like I don't really want my kids to watch, but for the most part, all of his videos are really great and they think it's fun because there's like a giant Nerf gun or a giant air horn. And so he just takes everything and scales it up really big and exciting. Next, I'm gonna end this video very similar to how we started by giving you another art channel recommendation. This channel is called Drawing and Painting the Virtual Instructor. This channel is going to definitely give you more of a guide on the artistic concepts and how to do it, especially with drawing, painting, pastels, watercolors, all different sorts of mediums that you can have your child use. Um, but it's going to actually teach a concept a little bit more than the art for kids. These videos are kind of a how-to quality because it'll show you how to paint, you know, a field with some flowers using oil pastels, but it's also an instruction as well. They're kind of walking you step by step, but then telling you, you know, here's how you start, here's how it keeps going. And it is really fun. I've used this with some of my older students and the work that they are able to um, complete just looks amazing. This channel, I would definitely recommend for those higher, like later elementary into high school, because they're gonna be dealing with a lot more complicated concepts, but if you have a little Van Gogh in your house, then go ahead and they can start watching these as well. Like I mentioned before, there are so many educational YouTube channels out there and these are my top 10, but if you would like any more recommendations, leave me a comment below and I will see about making another video here in the short future. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to get more homeschool content just like this. See you next time.